There are all sorts of spooky things in Salem, of course, especially right now during Halloween. WBZ's Jordan Jaglenzer takes us inside one historic building with some unexplained occurrences. Things are about to get really spooky in here. Rockefellers in Salem is not only right in the heart of the city's downtown, but also its history. Just lighting this building up again is really what brought the whole downtown back to life. When Dave McKillop and Kevin Marchino opened the restaurant in 2003, they never imagined the success they'd have 20 years later, with more and more people flocking to the Witch City every year. We're pretty much the first restaurant they see for the most part. But Rockefeller's is more than just a restaurant. It's a historic site. 1826, it was born as a church. They bought the building. Salem's first church still shines above the restaurant inside the Daniel Lowe building, named after Daniel Lowe himself. Daniel Lowe was one of the jewelers in the building, uh, became a, one of the largest jewelry stores in the country. The famous jeweler would later die in this very building in 1911, and some Salem visitors report seeing a ghost in the second story window. There are times when you're up there and if you're alone, you kind of get the feeling it's time to go downstairs. Spooky decorations aside, what actually goes on throughout this spot is much more ghostly. We had a bartender who started out with us in the beginning and he took this picture of the building on Essex Street here. It was up there for about a year, just the picture, and I walked in one day and then all of a sudden I started looking at the screensaver and there was a figure of a woman in a blue dress. Known as the lady in blue, the ghost just appeared one day on the restaurant's computer screen. Two days later, the computer died. Ever since, the two have paid homage to their friend from this beautiful mural to giving her her very own lady in blue drink. Love it. It's safe to say she's brought the two good fortune over the past couple of decades while haunting patrons in the process. She was eating her dinner and the cosmopolitan exploded and the only thing that was left was the stem. And so when I walked over, I asked, what did you do? What, what happened? And, and she said, I did nothing and I want to go home now. Marchino says while many people report seeing and hearing ghosts on the second story, it's actually the basement that has the most haunted happenings. There were slaves buried in this tunnel also. So they use this as a underground railroad. If I worked here, never would not see me. And it's that rich history that keeps hundreds of thousands coming back to Salem, hoping to get in on the spine chilling fun as staples like Rockefellers stand tall in the city, leaving a lasting impression on everyone who comes in for the mystery and a good time. We could actually literally go anywhere in the world and say we own Rockefellers in Salem and someone would have been there. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> Now, Daniel Lowe was a jeweler, and you can actually see in there some of those really cool vaults. Apparently, the one in the basement, bartenders have gone down and reported hearing screaming, let me out. I can't believe you went down to that basement. What are you, crazy? Yeah, I am crazy, and those bartenders deserve a good tip. So if you, <laughs> if you go, think about all they have to put up with. Yeah. Also, frighteningly difficult to get a reservation at Rockefellers, yeah, especially absolutely. this time of year.